Happening tonight, the Chico City Council will consider expanding the city's size by annexing four unincorporated areas. Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum is following the proposal and joins us now live. So Ryan, what are the areas being considered for annexation? Yeah, there are four areas, Alan, including this neighborhood that I'm standing in right now. This is actually off of West East Avenue down Gwynn Avenue. These are the other islands, as the city refers to them as. One along El Monte Avenue, Chico Canyon Road, and West Sacramento Avenue. All of these areas are unincorporated parts of Butte County surrounded by Chico. It's ridiculous to have somebody in a county house that's next to somebody that's in a city house, and we really need to be kind of working through that, and it's been a long time coming. If the annexation goes through, Chico takes over lighting, road work, and emergency services. But Irene Galvani says she's most excited to get the chance to vote. And there's a lot going on right now and to not have a voice. So that would be good to be able to speak up. I really feel that being able to vote makes a big difference for the city council since we are so close. These communities are in walking distance from city property. The island off of West Sacramento Avenue is actually less than a quarter mile away from this shopping center right here behind me off of North Avenue with Safeway and Walgreens. The city says response time should be faster with a change to Chico Police. But as it relates to police department, again, in many cases, these are islands within the city's fabric. So to contact the sheriff, it's going to take longer for them to get into the fabric of the city, whereas logically, if you're surrounded by the city, it makes more sense to have Chico police. And yes, we believe we have a much better and more responsive police response. living in these areas can stay on their own septic tanks and will not be forced to move over to the city sewer system or use the cow water services. The city also says that there will be no extra charge to these people and no change in taxes from the county to the city if this goes through. Reporting live in Butte County, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thank you, Ryan. Now, the city says people living there can stay on their septic tanks and won't be forced to switch to the city sewer system or cow water services. The city says there will be no extra charge or change in taxes for these people if it all goes through, as Ryan just told us. Now, we're keeping tabs on that for you and have the very latest tonight on Action News now at 11. Now, if the city council votes to push this through, a Butte County Commission will hold public hearings about this at a later date.